Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we're at the World of Wheels in Milwaukee, and we've got some great cars. Come to a World of Wheels show, you'll really have a good time. John Barnhart, good to see you Lou, again. Very good to see you as usual. Now, John, you uh, he has a little challenge of really overdoing a car, and this one, well, <laughs> it's no <laughs> exception. What do we have here today for him? We have a 1973 Plymouth Duster. And this one, well, I'll let it speak for itself when we show it. Uh, when did you buy this one? 2012. And how long was the restoration? About five years. We got it finished in February of 2017 for the World of Wheels show. And, and here it is today. So come right alongside me, John, and let's feature, well, that. Now, right off the bat, I want to, I'm going to have you share this story with people as we walk around, but this is what it started like, and transparently, and then there's a nice scratch down the side, so, and I want to just share with people some of the details here, so they can pause that anytime they want, we'll give all the, this car is a driver. So how did it get that? Well, it's an interesting story, Lou. <laughs> Go ahead, tell it while I show the I car. I bought the car. Come on they, with me. I bought the car, they delivered the car, got in it, no one told me it didn't have brakes, started it up like a true hot rodder. You can't just drive it away, you have to try to spin the tires. Well, to my avail, I found out it had no brakes as I ran into the back of my pickup truck and into the side of my garage with it so but there's something more to that so well mary came out what did she say my wife came out and uh she was all concerned that i because i have a 68 dodge dart that was parked very close to where i slid through the garage and uh she was more worried about the garage or the car the green car than this so, so once she, she figured that out green car. yeah and, and then and when she found out you didn't what happened she went back in the house about five minutes later, she came back out and said, my sister wants to know if you're okay. She didn't care if I was okay, as long as the green car didn't get hurt. Hey, John, I got a news for you. I think you got the right wife. When your wife is more she's concerned about good. the car than you, that's that's a good woman right there. Yeah, she, she's put up with me for 39 years. So. That's and great. there's a lot to put up with. Oh, that's great. Now. Right off the bat, besides this strobe stripe, let's talk about this on the back. This, first of all, very cool custom little piece there. How'd you get that 408 with the duster emblem in there? I have a friend who actually has the car right next to us this year, Gary Timmel, who I said, I need something to break it up. And that's what he came up with. That was me. really good idea. He does graphics, he's very good at it. and. Uh, that was really cool. He, he did the duster for the back, and the stripes are all painted under the clear, so. Oh, really? So this, this is paint? Yes. That's not a sticker? This is a sticker. Okay, this is a sticker, but The stripes gotcha. are okay, all I'm with painted you under okay. it. The and stickers are so we could change. Is this for fuel? That is the shut off, shut off when we go to the track, so if something happens, they can just push it and shut it off. Love the stainless exhaust. It's poly. It's not stainless. It's not? regular exhaust that I spent two weeks cleaning with steel wool to get it to look like that. That Well, I've noticed it. Very good. And it's been on there since we finished the car in 17. Pretty so. cool. Let's open the trunk, shall we? we got a little treat for him in there. Not all of our trunk and treats. Obviously a resto mod. We get the little cool... Now, also, who put that together for you? That's Gary a Timmel piece. also did that for and he's us. he's good. He's very good. And you're a veteran. No, I am not. But I think everybody should thank the veterans. Very good. For mm -hmm. all they've done for us. Absolutely. Without them, we couldn't be doing our car shows no and way. all the rest yeah. of this stuff. Got it. Very cool. Can you show them what's behind that panel? Because that's pretty cool. And, and even the trunk has got, you know, these strobe stripes. But look at the detail that we have here. Now, who put together the wiring component for you? Here? I did all that myself. Very good, John. Very we good. basically did everything except the interior, the paint, 
and the engine itself. We installed everything, but was there anything that was like super difficult to uh, to do on this car? You know, there there's certain difficulties to everything, but yeah. it's not really. It's okay. just trying to get new stuff to fit with old stuff and vice versa. Um, it went together fairly well, yeah. having done a couple before this, so it's it makes it a lot easier. Yeah. But let's take them to the interior because there's a lot going on there too. Inside Rides does our interior stuff, and I dropped it off there, and I said, I need something different, because all my stuff is mundane, and this is what I got. We the, did the dash and all that stuff ourselves. This is the best but. duster interior of all time. So nothing came kind of stock looking. There's nothing stock other than the dash frame itself. Okay. That's the only thing stock. And this one does including have... Including the headliner. And I see... You. Go ahead, I'm sorry. You're saying the headliner? The headliner is all custom. Oh, yeah. We do have a roll cage in it. That's that's because Mary's seen you drive before? Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about this. What, what do we have here? Is this nitrous? No, that's the line lock. For, okay. For burnouts. For doing burnouts, yes. Gotcha. And we'll have to watch you start this one up because uh, uh, who did the uh, gauges? I bought the plastic pieces and then we put the gauges and all the whole works together. It's a complete custom wiring deal on it. We started from scratch. There's no factory wiring left in it. Everything has been redone. I like the toggles. Yeah, that's... I think the only thing that's stock in here is that duster by Plymouth badge. And that's not even stock because that's a magnet. <laughs> that's a magnet. Correct. That's great. Nope, nothing in here is stock. The <laughs> wheel looks correct. And that's not a stock wheel. Either. And that's not a stock the wheel. The only your parking brake, your pedals, those are stock. <laughs> okay. Parking brake and pedals. We found something. Yeah. But really nice so the Inside in Rides does a fabulous job. Yeah, they really stuff. put this together sweet. They've done a lot what, of what stuff is this? for it. That's a cigarette lighter. Does it actually work? Yeah. <laughs> Normally I plug my GPS in. Okay, it. got it. So figure out where I'm going to. So. Well, let's take a look under the hood, shall we? Now, you did most of the mechanicals, correct? We did all the mechanical stuff other than building the motor itself. I like all the brakes, all that stuff is all. I like the air cleaner to give it that Mopar look. It does, and the, you know, they fit good with these cars. They, you need them to make them look authentic. Tell me what's the Indy thing here? Indy Cylinder Heads is a big engine manufacturer out of Indy, Indiana. Yeah. Um, we tried some other heads and stuff on it. We couldn't get them to flow the way we wanted to. So we went with the Indy package, which gives us, similar to the Mopar W2 heads, but it's Indy's version of it. They're all aluminum. Um, so we've got the Indy intake and the Indy heads. They're all ported and stuff. And then we get the TTI headers. Um, it's a 727 automatic manual shift valve body and everything in it. What's the horsepower? It's about 600, just under 600. Doesn't words. it twist the frame off in this? Or what no, the, the frames the are frame? all tied together. Okay. Um, along with the roll bar and stuff is all holding everything intact, so that's not a problem. We don't have the stock torsion bar suspension anymore and stuff in it. We went to an RMS, Riley Motorsports. Let me take a look while you're talking. Come on, I can get under there. I'm pretty good. Come on with me. All right, so if I if I go down here, we have the Riley Motorsports uh, rear end with the coilovers. Okay. We don't have leaf springs anymore. Got it for handling. Yeah. It's got Willwood disc brakes on the back. Okay. The front has got the RMS Riley Motorsports. Okay, let's close that. We're gonna fire it, shall we? We can. What's the horsepower? Just under 600. 
just under 600. Okay. Chasing us in the security. That's what I was afraid of. No, that's awesome. All right, that your your idol on that one, John. It's perfect. I mean, it's absolutely perfect. How did you get it to that level? We have a carburetor guy named Larry Kraut who is very, very good on carburetors, and he does what it takes to make them right once yeah. we get them in. So that sound will give you chills if you're a car, <laughs> if you're a car person. I mean, that was wonderful. And then when you got on it, I mean, that thing just ripped. I'm still looking around for security right now. John, always a treat. What a wonderful car. Thanks again for being on my car story. Thank you, Lou. It's always a pleasure to see you, and hopefully we'll see you with another one. We are in the process of doing another one. so Sounds like a plan. Thank you. Thanks, John.